Hello Pioneers, welcome back. This is wrapping up episode 13. This will be 13C. I didn't mean to make these so long. I could just make them new episodes, but I don't know. We have our goals. I still want to kind of keep this all in one kind of episode, even though it's essentially three here. Hopefully just three. We did finish the uh, blueprint for our slug manager's offices that we're going to set up. It is loaded with signs. I don't know if this is our final design or not. Uh, we did buy a few things from the awesome shop, like these inverted ramp walls, and we got glass uh, glass roofs. This actually has a uh, one up here. Got a sign pointing out. We'll mess with Lumen in some of the dark factories. This might pop pretty well. Uh, I just found some ridiculous looking characters that I'm sure phonetically this does not sound correct, but that's not even a letter, that's a math symbol, I think, as are some of these. But, got a nice little look to it, so we might go with that, we may change it later, we'll see. Just kind of wanted to get an initial little slugging branding going. Still got fix it there. Um, I added this beam just now because I kind of changed up sunk this down further, the concrete pillar. So he's kind of clipping through here, but with this beam, that's perfect. So I may go back and add that to the uh, blueprint. Unfortunately, you can't blueprint with it in them. With the slug, it won't count, but just jump here on the beam and place them and it should be good. And then just a lot of decorative stuff out here. We got these rounded ones beams and just kind of signs everywhere. Kind of liking this color, so we may make this our themed color. We'll see. I'm not locked in yet. We can always change it, so. Yeah, and then inside, we'll have some, uh, we'll have all the numbers for all of them. And then their name and their title. I was gonna have three We'll see if I can fit most of their titles on here. We'll see. Like uh, Bob Builder, Bob in case beams. I'm gonna try to have their alliterative names with whatever they do. Like our in case beam guy out there, he's Ernie. Um, and then we'll kind of have production stuff in here. And we could delete and put smaller ones or add more. So it'll kind of be a nice little info room to come check out all the production levels. So there's a nice uh, fun aesthetic with zero actual uh, helpfulness. But let's real quick also check. It's not dark right now, so this might not look as good, but let's try some lumen. Global illumination. Oh yeah, look at all the reflection. So I have this as coated concrete and I've kept the rest as concrete. And then inside is coated also. Kinda wanna change the colors. So we have I think if we do we could do the, edit this. I think we need that. Uh, let's go and make it of dark. And then let's just do this white. There we go. That looks pretty good. Is this coated? It is. Does concrete look better? We'll stick with that. So, nice, fun, pointless aesthetic thing to do, but we're slugging. We got to start getting the slugs set up. So I'm gonna try to set these up in the, all the factories, and we'll kind of spend some time. I think I'm gonna once I finish out this list of uh, stuff we need, and actually we're gonna need to do heavy mod frames before ACUs. 
Um, and let's say that. Um, but once uh, once that list is done, we might just spend some time kind of like grounding the factories, making them look actually walls and windows and look better than these slap down open things we have. I'm also tempted to really change all of this kind of up and delete some of this extra stuff. I don't know. Kind of want to waste a little time doing some aesthetics, so we'll see. Yeah, I don't know if this is our final design, but I'm liking it. So we'll go with it for now. I'm debating if I kind of want to make like some executive headquarters in here. But I don't know where yet, and I don't know if we want to use that same design, or maybe just have a bunch of like them sit on pillars, like Council of Slugs, I don't know. I want to do something fun there though, so. Anyway, I'll stop recording. Uh, when I jump back in, hopefully I'm actually working on setting up the computers and everything else we need. Uh, it's just kind of having fun with the slug ink. I added the uh, conveyor all the way around. There are a few slugs on it. There they are down there. Yeah, here's our little office for now. I'm liking it. Probably gonna turn Lumen off so I'm not running computer more than I need to right now. The graphics card. Even though I can handle it, I'd rather not. Unless we're just checking stuff out and enjoying the look. Anyway, that's enough. We'll see ya. Well, we said we weren't gonna waste time, but we're hitching a ride. It's been a nice kind of lap around. It's pretty peaceful here. Just riding the banner ray. He's coming back to the factory, so. I'll just see if it clips anywhere. I think it clips on the big giant base building we made. Jump on and ride them. This is a great way to see where they come through. I don't know if we'll add this to the main video or just make a separate little fun one out of it. Join a nice ride here. So this building can't really come up much higher if we want to avoid clipping. And it comes through the iron factory. It comes up high though. There. And then copper. Well, this might be tight. I don't think we're high enough. Looks like we're clearing it. Looks like we're clearing it. Okay. I think, like, right there, somewhere he kind of dips into the wall. To be fair, he clips right through these arches. So I don't know if it's enough for me to care about redoing anything. Here we go. Oh. Think right here. Oh, yeah. Right there. That's where our phone ends. He does clip right up there too. I think like there or something. Maybe on this one. I forgot. Anyway, it's possible we'll cut a little hole so that it doesn't clip through. And then if we build higher on top of this, which I doubt, but we could try to leave a little hole for him to get through. Anyway, there's some more pointless uh, me rambling and doing things that aren't helping move it along, but. We're here to have fun, right? <laughs> I'm gonna fix that blueprint for the office before I forget and just add that one beam in there. And then I promise I'm getting to work on Computer Factory. Gotta do it sometime. See ya! 
Yeah, okay, we're back. Hasn't been super long. We did one of these uh, double assembler blueprints. Got them both set to Katerian, or no, uh, Crystal Computer. The oscillator, this is like underneath. The, so the oscillators are up here. This is the quartz crystal. We're kind of using the space underneath it, which I just noticed how tight that is, but I don't know. These are kind of semi-temporary. We'll probably try to do a little bit better versions of them later. So let's see. These are finally coming in. And we are about to be active, so... Making 5.6 a minute. Not bad. Nothing amazing, but pretty good for this starter setup. Um, let me show you. Here's those circuit boards. So they go down there. They go down through the hole on the hole in this floor right next to this lift coming up. It's kind of clipping. It looks sort of bad, but. Let's come from here. I didn't do this great looking, but I just kind of have it riding over the rubber everywhere. So use the uh, stacked poles. And then just kind of have the lifts offset a bit. So we hook that in down here. This way. We didn't have it connected there yet, so I just brought it down. Set another. Uh, Strip of pad, foundation pads here. Might not have quite needed it. Let's come up here. This is where I got the lift starting, and then it just kind of stays lifted. The rest of the way up. That looks a little funny, but oh well. So we got computers automated. Not too hard, honestly, considering everything was ready to go for it. I don't know if all these uh, places. Where I have these conveyor belts will be the final spots or not, but let's check on here. Six computers. All right, we are in business. Here's what I was talking about: the lift kind of clips. I think it's because this one's so close to it, but whatever. I don't care. I think it looks fine. It's not the place we're going to be looking at much. Okay. Did set up a sink here. I guess we take a while to start using these. That gets that piece done for us. Let's see here. The sink is so noisy. Crystal computer factory boards oscillators done. Okay, we do need heavy mod frames before we can get to the ACUs. I have a couple recipes. I think I'm going to use the one without rubber since we're using so much rubber. Question is where I want to set it up. What we want to use with it. I don't know. Let's check it out. We don't have enough cable. Let's see how these are doing. This will be getting incorporated soon. So in this container. It's like a bit under 5,000. 4,800, I think. Plus the next one, we're probably at 5,000. Um, I just want to grab some cables so we can start planning. Really not sure. We could probably delete all this, honestly. Shouldn't matter. Seems pretty much done. We got 500 computers out of our temp setup. We got too much junk on us. Um, I don't know why I deleted the manufacturer because that's what I was trying to use to see this. Okay. That's the one with rubber. Let's see the regular. 10, 15. 10 mod frames, 30 steel pipe, 10 beams, 200 screws. That gets you two a minute. No screws here. 
bit less modular frame. Beam instead of pipe. No, beam and pipe. Wait, in, in case, yeah, okay, no, that's the same. Cased in pipe. This has concrete instead of screws. More steel pipe. 2.813. <clears throat> So, my dilemma is I have this kind of old iron stuff we haven't really modified much. There's tons of uh, more alternate recipes we could incorporate. This is making five a minute. The only thing using these right now is the uh, versatile frame, versatile framework. This is the sky bridge. Um, so my dilemma is this is only five a minute. If I use that recipe at 7.5, I might want to try to do like two of them. We're probably going to need to up our steel. I don't think we're going to have enough free steel pipe. Um, how are we looking here? Okay, let's go to ways to go. So what I'm thinking is, even if we want to use this coal for the uh, sulfur and make some, keep doing what we're doing with it, or make some compacted coal, that's barely using any. I think this thing can do, let's see, we're at 12.5. It can do 240. I mean, we could 600. We don't even have a belt that good yet. So we could utilize this coal. And then we have that extra iron node. We still have one left. I used one of them to blend with the copper ore uh, to make a copper ingot with the alt recipe. If we could either... So that node's up there, that mine. I don't know, this isn't a ton of space. If we could just find a good spot to kind of merge this, some of this extra coal in that iron. Maybe even do it like right here. I don't know. We need a ton of room. But I'd kind of like to just get some steel dedicated for making these. Um, and then we could even do, let's see. We have some alternates. This is the one we're using right now. Steel frame. We could set up to do that three a minute that's decent and then that one takes rubber we could do this one with wire I think we have extra wire up there I don't know we still need to use these coated plates that could be nice for making tons of plate anyway our focus will be determining what recipes and area and how we're gonna set this all up Pretty sure I'm not gonna have. That's 30 steel pipe, 33. I'm not gonna have enough either way, so. I don't think. I could go check the math, but I'd rather just get set up. We're gonna have to amp up the modular frames, so. If we end up doing two of these. Oh, I lost my thing somewhere. Well, we're gonna need 66, 67.5 steel, 15 modular frames. This should be okay. I think we're making 12 a minute, so we might need to ramp that up. We could just do one machine, I don't know. 2.813. We'd be fine here, but we would still need the steel pipe and mod frame, so. That's our next decision phase, and I'll see when I've sorted that out. Okay, I'm back. Um, we haven't set it up yet, but we've got most of the planning done for it for the uh, heavy mod frames factory out here so this is how things are looking kind of awkward we're gonna tap into that and grab a little bit of silicone not much uh, quartz to make silicone I think just one machine um, but yeah we built out this platform here I don't know if this will be big enough kind of run into the hill over there but I don't know 
if we extend it down in this. Oh. Hello? It's too far. So we got that much room there. I think the further down we go, we might be able to make it a bit larger. We can build up. Maybe we'll just try to build up and keep it in this sort of shape. Um, but we laid out machines to check on things and recipes, so... Here's our final, what we'll be making. I'm just gonna have uh, two of these machines, uh, the manufacturers, but the numbers will be the same as this, so. Our final will be 5.625, and then here's what we need on everything. So I listed that out here. Um, now the encase beams, we need quite a few, but I kind of want to make this a self-sufficient factory here. So although we could bring them over there, we're not really using those right now. I don't know. I might save it for later and try to incorporate it. I think we can have enough resources here. We've got, uh, it's not there. Got that old limestone node we never, never use, and it's a pure limestone node. So right here, right next to the uh, quartz oscillator factory. So we'll make a little space there, bring it down, bring that over. That should be enough uh, limestone there to f do what we need because we're going to be using this um, recipe I haven't used yet, fine concrete. So we'll mix silica and gonna get the bigger numbers than uh, regular concretes. You know, 45 gets you 15, 30 gets you 25, so get a lot more use out of that. Um, that recipe is over here. We'll be running five of those machines. Uh, we'll, we'll just need one constructor to make the silica for that. It happens to be the exact amount we need. Uh, we're going to need a lot of iron. The node, we brought it down here. It's a 240 node, but it's not overclocked at all, so we can just do that. Get it up to 270. These are on MK3 belts. So we'll just be perfect. Um, I'm actually glad it worked out that way. I did not plan on that, so... <laughs> I kind of started here and moved my way down through things. We're going to use the uh, foundries using the same recipe as the other steel foundries. Uh, we'll be using that much. The coal, we're just going to peel off this line here since there's barely, or it's not even getting used at the moment. Uh, we'll feed some of the ironing that's going to that. Some of them are going to get used to make iron wire. Uh, the rest are going to go into plates. The steel will make a lot of pipes. Um, we're not making any beams here, so it's just eight constructors making pipes. We're using wire and plate for the stitch wire, uh, stitch plate, reinforced plate. Uh, making ten a minute. Those will go into here, making the recipe we haven't used yet, the steeled frame alternate. We get three a minute. We'll have uh, five of these machines, making us 15 total. So that fulfills that. The concrete is all going in here, along with a bunch of pipes with the alternate recipe there. Making 20 a minute, so that'll give us some extra. A few things are gonna have extra, we'll just feed it all into sinks. Um, and then the rest of the concrete is going right here. 41.25, yeah, yeah, we did account for that. And that's pretty much the arrangement we have, so. Gonna be making 240 pipes. 
Mm, here's all the raw resources we'll be using for this, so. Coal right there, iron we brought in, need to overclock the mine. Limestone, I just showed you that node up there. We'll have to, one, it's a pure node, I'm sure you can get 150, no problem. That's why I'm with this uh, recipe to stretch the limestone more and have less machines. And I wanted to try it out, never use it. And then this, we have more than enough. We'll just, I think we'll just underclock that mine and uh, put the sil silica constructor right there. We'll just bring it right in from there as silica. So that's what we're looking at. A lot of steel pipes. Steel pipes going in here, here, and here. So that's kind of the big thing here. Yeah, we'll probably, uh, these are blueprint pads, so I'll probably delete some of these out. And I think I started my row here with the regular four meter, okay. And then we do have a little bit of room down here. I don't know how tall it is, let's see. And there's that hill there. It is possible we could use this space. Um, I was also thinking the next space elevator part is going to be um, using circuit board, heavy mod frame, and computer. Well, we have heavy mod frames right here. Computers are right there. Circuit boards, we can peel off the, the line being fed right here because it says five extra on it. So I'm thinking we'll do that, uh, maybe even we'll just do that manufacturer like downstairs here. And then all we'll need is uh, automated wiring, which is a little ways away, but not super far. We'll bring it around in somewhere. So that's my thoughts. I'm kind of making this video because I'm probably going to get off now. And help remind myself later. The signs will help, but this will help guide me to remake all this. This is a great way to set things up. Kind of wasteful. I could be using things like uh, we do have extra wire. Plenty of wire being made at the copper place. Um, I did check on steel pipes. We really don't have many extra. There's like maybe 10 a minute extra if that. I think less than that maybe. Reinforced plate. There's a little extra up there but I'm probably going to re-tear all that down and redo it. Another thing is I just want to try some of these alt recipes. I've already been using that one. Haven't tried the uh, fine concrete yet. Stitched iron plate. Steel uh, mod frame. Uh, this is an alt also. And so is that. That's the same. That's another thing kind of wasteful that we could be bringing those in. But uh, I'd rather have this self-contained and then just whatever that might be a waste and we can tear it down or feed it into if we grow this or use it somewhere else I don't know I don't know but there's our game plan uh, I'll try to catch up with you when we get this going my other concern is there's gonna be a lot of machines we have like a thousand extra right now but truly only have you know 400 so, I may want to, I think we'll be alright. I'm only adding one mine, two of these, we'll use a bit of, good bit of power. So the foundries, I don't know. We may have to do a power uh, tally on this and figure out how bad it's going to be. See if we need to up it first, so. I'll check in with you when we make some progress here. See ya. Checking back in. Those are our first, uh, first ones. Adaptive control unit. So what we did was, I think I showed you all the signs and plan for this. We upped the uh, iron mine. We built out the limestone mine. Limestone's coming in here. This is the. Uh, 
fine concrete recipe on the assemblers. We're making, let's see, 125 a minute. Um, this down here is just the smelter row for iron ingots. Uh, we've got nine of them, each smelting 30. Um, those split off and go upstairs. That's the concrete there. Uh, the rest of them come here. Got the coal coming in. Utilize this space right here. These little side spaces we have. They're the perfect width, so those come in here. We have four foundries, making 60 each, 240 steel. These go right into the constructor row. There's two here. The rest of the steel keeps going. I also have it split off on there somewhere. Uh, we're making steel pipes on those two, and then I think maybe this entire row. All steel pipes there. What is that? Six, seven, eight machines doing that. Those go up here. Everything is upstairs after that. Um, there's steel pipes come out this way. And then they have three separate directions. So if you follow the far one down. Concrete comes out and goes in two directions. Our pipes and concrete. Uh, going here, making encased beams. Four per minute. We have five machines, five assemblers. So we're making 20 encased beams a minute. Temporarily hold here if we need to buffer them, but. They kind of feed down and go back in later. Let's see what else we have. We have the iron. Those remaining iron ingots coming up here. Uh, we have one, two, three machines making iron wire. 22.5. We're making, what, 66, 67, something like that. These are making plates. There's just two making plates. It's 40 total. And all the ironing gets are done by then. All that wire and plate gets fed over here. These assemblers are doing stitched iron plate. Five a minute. We have two of them. So we can ten total. The next assembler is here. These four and that one are all doing the Modular frames, three times five, we got 15 being made. I have the uh, reinforced plate off of here. Comes around this way, feeds directly into this. The steel pipe, I put this in, and it feeds it down the line this way. The, uh, it's a little messy and clipping right now, but we'll fix some stuff later. And that's where it's just feeding down. Uh, I just noticed that. Anyway. Um, the remainder of the concrete here. It splits off that isn't used for encased beams. Comes this way. We have the steel frames that come out of here. Going all the way around so they can continue to feed. With this... Uh, other one assembler there. We have steel, steel pipes coming out here. These ones are feeding into here. That extra concrete, kind of wrapped it in along the wall. And then those encased beams coming in from the other side. We have here, and then they wrap around. 
finish that bill. So it's one manufacturer, here's the other. I don't really need these end lines. But, uh, let's delete them real quick. The things aren't perfect, they'll support me. are having frames coming out. And we're making between our two manufacturers. Both running a hundred percent on this alternate heavy encased frame. We're making five point six two six. Got those feeding out. Go downstairs. Set up a single manufacturer here for uh, space part. Computers or circuit boards are right here. Just split it off the computer production line. That's only using five a minute. This is using 15 for these, so finally getting we'll be using all these up continuously. Computers just come out of the back here, wrapped around, up and over, and going in there. And then the automated wiring, <coughs> I have a ton down there. I'm, I just need to make a a belt and bring it over here. But for the meantime, I grabbed uh, 750, and that should give me exactly. We can't tell right now, but it's 7.5 when this is set to 1. So, 750 should give me 100, which will get this done, and then we'll f uh, probably do a proper setup with these. Uh, bringing them in, it is kind of a. I built this pillar to get them from over there. Just do some lifts down here. That's not too far from there. I can bring it straight across here. That shouldn't interfere with the silica factory there. And we'll just tie that line into the to there. So we could also set these up to feed right into the space elevator, but I'm just gonna get these ones done. I think in phase four, these aren't a part by themselves. They go into something else. So I don't really want to set it up to feed in there and have to change it again right away. And 22, so making progress. I'm pretty happy. This isn't perfect. Let's do a little overview flight. This is perf perfect. It's a little spaghetti in parts, but we'll come back and clean some stuff up later. I'm happy we're making a good bit of production there. So there it is. And then that one. So that area's kind of developing out. I swapped some of this to concrete around here. Tried to get it all. We'll redo all this iron stuff here soon, but anyway, let's go ahead and delete this off. That's done. We got ACUs. So we'll just get those plugged in to finish phase three here and then a high speed connector factory. Ethereum, quick wire, circuit boards. So we're maxed out on our circuit boards, but we do have all these alternate recipes. I think we could easily set up this close by. Um, anyway, I don't really need it at the moment, so we might just wait till we're needing it in, the, in a recipe or something. 
I don't know. I'd kind of like to get it done before we move on, just to have them auto-producing. So. Okay. A little tired. Wanted to get this done. And uh, the one other thing I should probably figure out for this too is I need to uh, got a sink in case this fills, which probably won't happen anytime soon. There's a few of the parts along the production chain that are overproducing. Probably iron plate. I don't remember what the rest was, so that's another thing to consider is maybe setting up uh, feeds off any other lines that are overproducing for overflow. The smelter's kind of lower here, but it's fine. I think eventually I'd kind of like to fill in these more with like walls and stuff and make it maybe cleaner in and out with all the belts. I don't know. Starting to feel spaghetti, but that's fine. I still try to keep it kind of tidy, so. Okay, I'll call it there and see you when we put these parts in. Or if I get a high speed connector setup built. Which probably won't happen for right now. So, see you later. Welcome back. Um, after the ADUs are done, the last thing we need is, we don't even need because there's nothing using it right now, but would be to start making high speed connectors. I'm liking this uh, alternate recipe here for circuit boards. It's not a ton of copper sheet nor silica. It's a pretty good output, so. Also, we really don't even need that many. Um, Back here at the copper factory, I knew we were not optimized by any means. This line's got 200 extra ingots on it that is dead end here. So that's kind of a waste. We're making 100 sheets currently. Those are all feeding the uh, AI limiter production. So we're using up all of those. Now this floor is kind of pointless. I don't know. That's why I was looking at wire here. I, it'd be nice if I could get a quick wire uh, alternate where you mix copper in, or mix regular wire in, I don't know. But we're using 150 ingots here, making 300 wire. Pretty much this entire floor of wire is just getting, these are all sinking immediately. The overflow on this floor actually goes up and then it merges in with the last ingot line we bring up here. Uh, 250 on the line. Actually, this is from below. Uh, plus 200. Other line. Uh, using... Using 150 for these 10. And then I think I put the numbers for these other ones. And this wire, I don't know if that helps feed the cable, it might. And then we have six here, and this last one's underclocked. So we're using, for these six, I forgot if these are separated out, but. Okay, those seven use two, use 100 ingots. Exactly. And these would be using 150. So, 250. We got a lot left over here, also. Can't afford that. Oh no. Can we make one real quick? Been making too many signs. Let's see, I just want to put this down while I have it in my mind. Fifty by ten plus a hundred. Further down. Uh, we'll just say one. Yeah. yeah. So two fifty. And then what is this? 
Four fifty, so we got two hundred left over here. So we essentially have four hundred ingots extra we're not using at all. All this wire gets dumped. I think all this wire actually does help feed into the cables. Let's see where it goes out. Does it keep running the whole line? Yeah. That's where the other 200 line comes up there. So, this goes all the way. This does help feed the cables. Okay. You should see... 30. I think these are at 100%. 2, 4, 6, 8. They all at 100. Um, so we're making 240 cable. A, that is only feeding into the automated wiring is the only thing using that. So we probably have a lot of extra there too. Um, so this would be good to implement and we wouldn't have to add many. We could even swap a few of those copper wire. If we could do three of those over to this, we could make one of these machines. And we don't need a lot for the high speed connector unless we really ramp it up. This is 12 something that feed to, you know, two, three of these, four of these, whatever. Our main constraint here is going to be quick wire, <coughs> which is what I was thinking about. And I'm guessing we'll have plenty of extra cable. So quick wire, 210 a minute just for that single machine. So if we want to do multiple, we're going to have to step it up. I'll have to double check. I'm almost positive we're making 600 here. And then using 400 on the AI limiters. I think I did mark these out. Yeah. 400 quick wire. Um, so we only have 200 left. A single machine there would need 210. So that's what I was thinking about. An alt recipe for quick wire. But we also have an easy solution here which is two caterium nodes right here I think they're normals normal yeah um, but I'm also hesitant to ramp things up right now that's normal also mainly because if we had another big quick wire production we could swap a couple copper sheet from the wire machine so that wouldn't add any power usage but uh, if we set up a mine there that's going to and uh, creating quick wire that's going to be that's going to be pulling some power and I think we're kind of after that heavy modular frame factory and the adaptive control unit I'm guessing we are Getting pretty close to maxing out here, yeah. Still haven't dipped into the reserve. But if everything is on at once, we are going to shut down. <laughs> so, instead of making high speed connector right at this moment, I think we advance to the next stage into phase four. Could do some decorating now, but I think I'm going to keep tweaking these factories a little and I'll take a pause sometime as we're advancing to update that stuff. Let's see how we're doing here. We need four more. I must have miscounted. Does this have extra? Oh no. This is the last of them. That's a glitch too. They're not even showing. Is it on the final draw here? Oh yeah. So this should give us enough to get that done. That was good timing. As soon as that is done, we have enough. So I think that's what we're going to do. Advance to phase four. And then we'll see where it goes from there. We might, I mean, even if I want to make a aluminum mine set up and all that, we're going to need more power here soon. We could... There's another oil node right next to this little fuel station we have there. 
possible we tap into that. Expand on the generator some. Um, but we're really trying to get it to a hyper fuel setup. Which, or turbo fuel. Which I really want to have a good arrangement. We're going to need an alternate recipe. I think it's diluted. Diluted fuel. Something like that. There's one where it's packaged, and there's one where it's uh, just uses a blender. But there's some other blender recipe for turbo fuel, so I don't know. I'm thinking we kind of just push ahead, get to blenders, and then we're going to probably need to do some hard drive searching again and try to get some of the fuel ones we want unlocked. Yeah. We've hit the power constraint area again, so... may grab some I need still need to get the automated wiring hooked in here to automate that but let's just get this done move into phase four I really should hook that up so we just keep producing those in the background it's stacked up a good bit three full containers Pretty sure these are 2,400 each, so quite a lot. Quite a lot going to be needed, though. Dump these in here. Let's do it. Send it. for a second. <laughs> Nobody saw that, right? Um, sweet. Now we got all these final phase parts. We're not going to jump into that right away by any means. We got a lot of production and probably some design work and stuff to do. We don't have a cannon point in this way. I was thinking too, we might bring trains in here. Kind of make this sort of a train station down there. I need to start using this building, so. Oh, we had deleted our office we had. Um, let's check on this though. We probably got a bunch of good new milestones to chase. Bauxite refinement being number one. Good thing is we should be producing. Oh, we're gonna need a aluminum for all the next stuff. There you go, control. There's the first base part. Hover pack is nice for building. I don't like it for getting around, but when you're just lingering trying to build something, it can be really nice. I still have never made a nuclear power setup, so. I think I've researched everything through these tiers in the past, but never fully got everything built out. I've done the uh, like completed all of those, completed some of these. I don't think I've ever made uh, these two. I s I've barely dabbled in some of this aluminum stuff here, like heat sink and all that system. Anyway, I always like end up giving up and starting over. So we're gonna try to see it through this time. I've made a few of these, like some of those, a few of these, but never really done any. I think I've unlocked this and never really done any of this stuff, honestly. The particle accelerator. So we got a long way to go. Aluminum. Will be our next step so we can push through all the other barriers, but I think as soon as we get that done we can unlock a blender. So yeah, as soon as we get this done we'll get blender. I think it'll be time for a hard drive search. So we can ramp up power so we can keep everything else moving. So I'm going to leave a sign for myself here. Really don't have a 
need directly right now. Never set up a uh, high speed connector factory. Okay. Delete that from here. I don't know if we wrap up episode 13 there. Um, it's been long enough split up into these few parts. So. I think we will. And let's set episode 14 goals. I need to not go overboard on these goals so I can try to keep the episodes a little shorter. So we're just going to do... Uh, Unlock uh, Boxite, uh, Blender, as soon as Blender good, search HDs, get turbo fuel, diluted fuel, all dialed in for a power plant. Um, Might also, before I even get off, I'm gonna just do this for myself. Uh, automated wiring belt over to ACUs. And the reason is this uh, director unit thing. What the heck is it called? Oh, I don't have it unlocked to view it. But this first part, I think, uses those. And if it's not that, it's one of the others. Pretty sure this will use ACUs and I think supercomputer with it. So. Which we haven't got yet. Which would be nice. There's a uh, geyser like right by us. Right there. I know there's others around, but I mean, that'd be a nice, easy one to plop down and get some extra power going. Um, that could be another thing I might do. I might hand make some high speed connectors and try to get. Well, how far away are we? I think there's a good bit to go still. We're out of plate. We'll cut it off there. See you in episode 14.